In the world of AI, there's been a new trend that's been going viral all over the internet, and that is AI-generated music. Now, I've talked a lot about AI-generated music on this channel in the past, but it is really up-leveling lately. If you've spent any time on Twitter slash X lately, you've probably heard stuff like this. Or like this. The sky's on fire, chaos is king. Streets are stage for the final fling. Skank into the beat, lost in the blast. Dancing like it's the very last. Stuff like this has been going viral because there's a new tool in town called Udio. Like studio, but without the S. And what Udio does is you enter a single prompt and it will make the lyrics, the music, it will sing it, it does all of that. And what's really interesting about this one is that some of the songs will even have multiple singers going back and forth. It's really impressive in most cases. Prior to Udio, we had Suno, which makes really good songs. I've made a handful of songs on this that really sort of blew me away. One of my favorites is this one called Matt Wolf's AI Rockstar. I didn't name it, Suno named it, but this is that song. Hey there, have you heard the news? There's a guy who's got the moves. Matt Wolf, he's a rock star making ways. With his AI tutorials, you'll be amazed. You'll be amazed. He's got all the latest news, the trends, teaching you the tricks, my friend. From machine learning to neural nets, he's the YouTube king, no regrets. So come on and subscribe. songs it makes are still really impressive and I think I'm even going to use this same set of lyrics here and test it in some of these other tools here. Shortly after we got this Suno version 3, which again is pretty dang amazing, we got Sonato. And Sonato is a Y Combinator backed AI music generator. If you watched my recent Underground AI live stream, you saw me play around with Sonato and generate some songs with that. One thing that's very interesting about this Sonato tool is it actually lets you plug in the name of an artist. So I did this prompt on the live stream where I asked it to make a song in the style of Blink-182. It then sort of rewrote the prompt. The song features energetic electric guitars and fast paced drumming, characteristic of Blink-182's punk rock style, Mark Hoppus and Matt Skiba's vocals, etc. When you use Suno or the new tool Udio that I'm gonna show you in a minute here, they won't let you put in another artist's name. If you try to put Blink-182 or Jimi Hendrix or something like that, it'll say we can't generate based on other people's music. But here's the Blink-182-ish song that it generated. We found our live streaming online. Caught in the web, we intertwine. Artificial minds, they start to rise. YouTube is our stage beneath the digital skies. EEI dreaming on the YouTube screen. In a world where nothing's as it seems. I mean, it's got maybe some elements of Blink-182. I wouldn't really say they like nailed the sound of Blink-182, but not bad. This one also has the most sort of like AI sound to it. But saying that, according to Gary Tan, who is the CEO over at Y Combinator, that's because Sonato uses a completely different AI model than the other tools. Instead of using a language model like the other ones, this one uses what's called a latent diffusion model. You can read the explanation here on this post from Gary Tan, but if I'm being honest, it's a little bit over my head. Others do music generation by training a vector quantized variational autoencoder like Descript Audio Codec to turn music into tokens. Instead, we ripped the tokenization part off and replaced it with a normal variational autoencoder bottleneck, along with some other important changes to enable insane compression ratios. They actually compare theirs to being closer to like what Sora is doing as opposed to what 
Suno is doing. Again, all of the tech speak in here is a little bit over my head, but the key point is Sonato sounds a little bit different, maybe a little bit more AI generated because it's using a different method to generate the music. Since this Matt Wolf's AI Rockstar is one of my favorite songs generated by Suno so far, I wanna use these same lyrics and try them on these other AI tools. So let's go ahead and see how this song comes out using Sonato here. Let's make a song. I'll call it Matt AI Rockstar. Under Suno, this one says Fun Pop Rock as the description. I'll put Fun Pop Rock. And then down here, I have the option to use my own lyrics. I'll go ahead and paste in the lyrics that I have from Suno here. We have a few options here. I'm just gonna leave them on their default, but they also give you the option to upload a song to reference, something I haven't tried yet, but I wonder how closely it follows the reference song. I'll have to play with that in a different video because I'm gonna source some royalty-free music to try here so I don't get myself in trouble. But let's go ahead and generate with these lyrics and the description, fun pop rock. While we're waiting for that, just a quick reminder, here's what the original from Suno sounded like. Kind of impressed with it. All right, let's jump back and see what they made with Sonato. Here's the first version. So far, not off to that fun pop rock style that I was asking for. Maybe I did something wrong here. Maybe I needed to put it in the prompt section. Let's go ahead and create a new song. Let's do Matt AI Rockstar Take Two. This time I'll put it down in the prompt section. Fun, pop, rock. Turn on my advanced custom lyrics, paste that in, and let's generate one more time. They generated three variations. Let's try the first one. Hey there, have you heard the news? There's a guy who's got the moves. Matt Wolf, he's a rock star making waves. With his AI tutorials, you'll be amazed that he's got all. All right, let's see what the second variation sounds like. Does that kind of sound like the Friends theme song? Hey there, have you Not heard anymore. the news? There's a guy who's got the moves. Matt Wolf, he's a rock star making waves. With his AI tutorials, you'll be- All right, so that's what Sonato can do. Again, completely different technology under the hood, it seems, than what Suno and Udio do. But I felt it was worth mentioning because this is the worst this is ever gonna be. But now let's go to the one that everybody is talking about, Udio. There was a recent news article that says, former Google DeepMind researchers assemble luminaries across music and tech to launch Udio, a new AI powered app that allows anyone to create extraordinary music in an instant. If this doesn't sound like it was written by ChatGPT, I don't know what does. In fact, I read this whole press release and I'm fairly certain they used ChatGPT to write it. Udio, a company that leverages AI to easily create extraordinary and original music, today announced the public launch of its app, Udio.com. One thing that's interesting about Udio is that it actually has really solid backing by actual musicians like Will I Am and Common. It's also got backing from A16Z, the co-founder and CTO of Instagram, and the head of Gemini at Google. So they apparently have like a dream investor team working on Udio and also likely a marketing budget that comes along with these types of names being on board. I imagine you'll probably see and hear a lot about Udio just because of the investments and the amount of marketing they'll probably do for it. Now, before I actually make some songs using Udio, I do need to remind you, this is in beta. It is still currently free because it's in beta and you probably will run into some little minor bugs and issues. For example, when I log in right now, I get this white bar on the bottom that says, due to heavy load, generations are much slower than usual. We're working hard to improve performance. 
So I'm sure this video being released is not gonna help with that any, but I'm not the first person to release a video about Udio, which is why they're probably bogged down in the first place. So let's go ahead and create a song with Udio. If I come up here to this top bar and click on it, you can see these options pop up. We've got the box to enter our prompt here. We've got a dice roll, which will generate a random prompt for us. We've also got a manual mode, which if we hover over here, manual mode allows you to directly prompt the model without any prompt rewriting. So basically when you enter a prompt here, Udio is going to try to improve the prompt to get you a better generation. But if you turn on manual mode, then it will use the prompt exactly as written. I'm gonna turn off manual mode, let Udio do some of the work to get me better songs and see what we get. Down here, we have the options for custom lyrics. We click this, we can add our own lyrics. We have the option for instrumental, no lyrics will be involved, or auto-generated, we give it a prompt, it writes the song for us. My assumption is if you're using auto-generated, it's probably using like the GPT API or the Claude API underneath the hood to create a new prompt. Same thing that Suno does. Let's go ahead and plug in custom lyrics. I'm gonna grab this same song and we'll paste this in right here. Then I'll actually use the same prompt I used in Suno, a catchy pop rock song about why everyone should subscribe to Matt Wolf on YouTube to learn the latest AI news, tutorials, tools, and more. The song should be fun and humorous. I'll just copy that same prompt, even though I'm giving it lyrics anyway, paste that in there to make sure it gets the similar style and let's create, see who does it better. All right, so our first variation seems to be done. Let's go ahead and press play on it. Okay, so that was really, really good. Completely different style than what Suno generated, but I feel like if somebody just played that for me and didn't tell me it was AI, I don't know if I would have been able to catch that that was AI. Let's listen to the second variation it made. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. That was what I was hoping for when I wrote the prompt the first time around on Suno. That was really good. Even like there was singing and then there was background sort of vocals singing over it too. Oh man, that was really good. So now we have some options here to remix, extend and publish. If I click the three dots, we also have add to playlist, view track, share, download, delete and report song, but I wanna extend it. So if I click on extend, we actually get a bunch more options here. We have add intro, add section before, add section after and add outro. Let's add an intro and let's auto generate it. Let's see what this tool comes up with and click extend and see what we get out of it. All right, so we got two variations. Both are a minute and six seconds long. Let's hear the first one. Remember it added an intro and it used AI to create the whatever vocals are in this intro. For all the coders and the newbies too, Matt Wolf's channel is the place for you. So hit that like, smash, subscribe, join the crowd. So good. Let me listen to the second variation. I don't know if it's going to be the same lyrics in the intro or different lyrics. No clue. Let's find out. He, he breaks it down, makes it clear as day. AI. Demystified in the coolest way. Neurons firing, codes compiling. Mad Wolf's got that charm. Subscribe. For the secrets, there's no harm. Hear it first from Matt. 
algorithms untwined. Every upload a treasure you're destined to find. So go find. Then it just moves into the rest of the song. I think I like the first one better. Let's extend it and add an outro and auto generate that. All right, let's see what it generated. I'm gonna kind of fast forward it to right before the outro so we can hear just the new part. Turn the volume up, get your code in line. Watch Matt Wolf's vids and you'll do just fine. He's got humor, wit, and a friendly face. Got your AI learning at a rapid pace. Subscribe, it's a must. Let your brains ignite. Let them ignite. Matt Wolf streaming AI day and night. Day and night. Not bad. All right, what's the other variation? Wolf Fuel Unlock AI's mystery. Click that bell at notification. So Matt Wolf AI Hub, it's tech Whether it's Python, Drupal, or some GPT with Wolf, you're learning in the best. Best company. <laughs> so good. All right, that's amazing. I absolutely love what Udio's generated. You can see I've only generated a few songs here. Uh, there's two that I accidentally generated here by, by just like rolling the dice. Every other song you've heard me generate with Udio on this recording, this is my first time hearing it. Udio didn't pay me, Suno didn't pay me, Sonata, nobody paid me for this video. This is just me playing around with AI tools. So I wanna get that out of the way before the comments start saying that Udio's paying me for this, they're not. I just think it's really impressive and the music it puts out is stuff I feel like I would actually listen to. And if you want to hear more variations of what it can generate, all you got to do is scroll on X for a little bit and you'll see everybody's AI generated songs that they've been putting out recently because everybody seems to be putting an AI generated song on X. So you'll get all sorts of examples in different genres and heck right now it's free to use while it's in beta. If we even take a look at their pricing page, it says, thank you for being an early supporter. Our product is free for the duration of the beta program. In this period, you can make up to 1200 songs a month. Get in there, play with it. If there's a different genre of music you'd like to try, give it a shot, see what it does. It is really, really impressive. There is, however, some areas where it doesn't do quite as well. Inside the Future Tools Discord, Miv here shared an example of a song generated in Suno and then the same lyrics generated in Udio. And well, Suno did a much better job. Here's the Suno version. Not gonna lie, I actually kinda like it, but here's the Udio version. And well, just listen. So yeah, Udio doesn't do everything amazing, but it's pretty damn good overall. And while I'm on the topic of AI music, and because I brought up the Discord, we do currently have a competition running for free in the Discord for an AI music video. You can use Suno, you can use Sonato, you could use Udio. It doesn't really matter which tool you use to make the song, but then combine it with a video, make us a cool music video. And the top 10 music videos that are submitted are all gonna win cash prizes. Doesn't cost anything to enter. You just gotta be a member inside of the Discord. Follow the instructions in the Discord announcement here and you'll be entered to win. We actually don't have a lot of entries yet. So if you do create a music video and enter it in the competition, you have a high likelihood of being in the top 10. So check it out. Discord link is in the description. It's also futuretools.io slash discord. Check that out. We'd love to have you be a part of the competition. And again, if you wanna stay in the know with all the latest AI news and all of the coolest AI tools, including AI music tools, you can come over to futuretools.io, select music, it'll narrow it down to the 79 tools that we have on the website that help you with AI music. New tools are being added daily and we have a free newsletter. You join the free newsletter, you'll stay up to date on all of the coolest AI tools, the latest AI news, and I'll give you immediate access to the AI income database 
which is a database of interesting, fun ways to make money using various AI tools. If you're gonna be looking at future tools and playing around with different AI tools, might as well learn some ways to make some additional income using some of these AI tools that you're playing with. Join the free newsletter and I will hook you up with that AI income database immediately upon subscribing. And that's it, that's all I got for you today. I want to play around with some of these new AI music tools. Udio is all the rage on X right now, so I had to test it out for myself. But since Sunato was on my radar yesterday and we've played around with Suno quite a bit over the last several months, I figured let's play around with all three of them and kind of put them side by side with the same song. So hopefully you got an idea of the leaps we're making in AI music. It is getting really, really impressive. And as the mantra goes in the AI world, this is as bad as it's ever gonna get. So imagine where this AI music technology is gonna be a year from now. It's gonna be crazy. Thank you so much for tuning in. Really appreciate you. I love nerding out about AI tools. Hopefully you do too. If you wanna see more AI nerd out fests with me, make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel and I'll keep making sure videos like this pop up in your YouTube feed. Thank you once again, really appreciate you. See you in the next video, bye-bye.